What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with the Tour de Hova here on PCM 2020 and I'm so excited for this race today. But first, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe and drop a like on the video down below. We have plenty more PCM content coming this season. But this race, like I said, is so exciting. We have three stages. All of them, I think, have over 3,000 meters of climbing. So the first one, we have um, this this final finishing circuit where we're going to Godot. We then have stage two and a very steep uphill drag to the line there. And then we have the stage I'm really looking forward to. The queen stage of the race for sure. I mean, look at all of these climbs, massive climbs. This is definitely the queen stage. So I won't take too long to run you through the teams, but we do have the Ineos Grenadiers, as always, with an absolutely stacked lineup. Gegenhart, Sivakov, Thomas Pickcock as well makes his debut. Uh, we have Mike Woods and Dan Martin for Israel. We have Pino alongside David Godou. Fulsang is here. We have a fun team for AG2R. We have GVA. Champisan is here as well. Balcom Molima as, uh, alongside Chicone for Trek Segafredo. He looks back to his best for sure. We have the likes of Harada and Geshka. Nairo Man is back making his season debut. And I do think they are the main favourites. Aru is here. Pierre Latour, David Dela Cruz. Interested to see how Simon Carr gets on as well for EF Education Nippo. And you can see the final guys. We have Marco Brenner making his debut for Team DSM. And then you can see the final guys starting the race. And I do think we will go for AG to our Citroen, not because of their jersey, that's for sure. But we will be going because they do have a fun team, GVA and Narsen. Not really sure what they're going to be able to do here. But I'm really excited by Clermont Champusan, a really talented young climber. Ben O'Connor is here. Nons Peters as well, who's a really strong rider, as we know. Doria Godon as well, another really good rider. So hopefully, this should be a fun race for us. Away we go then, here in the Alps. And we do have Oli Narsen to the front. I think we may as well throw him into today's breakaway, see what he can do. We do have some horrible, uh, some horrible days, especially for GVA and Gastoa. So I think we'll use... GVA for protection. He could have been a good option because I'm not quite sure how selective these climbs are going to be. They're not particularly steep. So we are going to have a breakaway up the roads, including Oli Narsen today. There they are. Ten riders are here. Simon Clark is here. A particularly strong rider for me. I didn't expect to see him here. Um, Quinton Pache as well. So a fairly strong group um, up here for Oli Narsen. This video will be going out the day of the first stage. So guys, let me know who you think is going to win this race in the comments below for me. I think I'll go with Pavel Sivkov, a really, really strong rider in my opinion. So the breakaway have just over a minute's lead right now, sadly. Doesn't seem it's going to be their day. We will try and take this intermediate sprint though with Oli Narsen on the wheel of Quinton Pache. I think we can try and come round and they go. We do take those points at least. So something has come of this day at least. 58k to go then. We've had a quick tempo, a very quick tempo to be fair. It's Israel and FDJ who have been forcing the tempo and no signs of that slowing down either. So coming to the top of this climb, I think Narsen can try and take these KOM points, which he will do, but we are now back in the peloton such has been the tempo 80 riders it says i'm pretty sure it's going to be quite a few less very shortly and we still have an electric tempo under 70 riders under 50 riders suddenly as we come to the top of this climb for the second occasion impy on the front right now for israel i do believe we did just see Dan Martin go out the back. I also saw Pickock out the back and also dropped. We have Fabio, Aru, Rui, Costa as well. You can see some other names. Just so many riders have been dropped already. Magnus Court is still here. He's had a great ride today. I'm shocked how selective this stage has been so far. I can't lie. So Narsen does make his way back on with 12k to go. That's important. He can try and protect Clermont Champusan for a little bit, but it's quite clear that Dorian Godon is our leader on the day. He is feeling fantastic and he's pretty quick in a sprint as well. And there we go, the first attack. It's Nairo Quintana, 8K to, uh, 8K to go. Chikone, Marisa, Sivakov are trying to follow and Nairo Man clearly is feeling okay after his training injury. Okay, so I think Shampoo San is probably going to have to try and work 
for Dorian Gadon today as Narsen now is gone for good alongside a whole host of riders. Gadon just going to try and keep a steady rhythm as Sivakov now pacing really hard on the front. Shampusan going to try and stay here I think for a little while but Gegenhartz now coming to the front for the Ineos Grenadiers. We have 6k to go. Sivakov is now done. Mike Woods is done. What is going on? Godou is done. Don't know what's going on here, guys, but we're just going to try and stay in this group with Godon as Champusan is now done for the day as well. Let's try and stay here. Magnus Court, really strong today, and Godon is in the front group, but Garrett Thomas trying to attack away with 3k to go. So we literally have nine riders at the front. Godon is trying to stay with these guys. Let's uh, let's get in the wheel of Magnus Court. He looks great as Quintana is really struggling. Molimer is done. Is Pino done as well? What is going on? We have one and a half k to go. Godon still looks brilliant. Let's go up to 99. Try and take this. Can we in a sprint? Court is still here. So is Gegenhart. Dorian Godon versus Teo Gegenhart and Dorian Godon. Win stage one of the Tour de Holval. What a stage that was. And look at the riders we have dropped right here today. That was unreal. Let's be real. If the real stage is half as good as that stage, we'll be pretty happy. What on earth was that? Quintana, Pino, Molimer, Sivkov, Ciccone. The list goes on of the riders that were dropped here today. And somehow we take it in a sprint alongside these five riders. Unreal. Underway we go then. Narsen is in the KOM jersey whilst Gazon in the leader's jersey for our guys. You love to see it. At least they're not wearing uh, the original uh, HG2R jersey, but we're going to try and defend this today with Gazon on a pretty poor day as well. So we do have a pretty big group of riders up the road today in the breakaway. 15 in total, actually, and quite a few Burgos guys. Angel Madrazo, the legend, he won the Vuelta stage alongside Yetsa Bowl a few years ago now. I think that's five riders from Burgos in this breakaway. Fair play. Not really sure what's going on with Dan Martin here in France, but he's out the back early on again. Really no idea. He must be working, I guess, for uh, Mike Woods, of course. We still have 80 riders in this group, and really, other teams have now taken it up on the front because... I was probably going to let this breakaway take the stage, to be honest. Not really interested on a pretty poor day for our, uh, for our team. Yet again, then, we have groups all over the roads. Karga, Mai are out the back already. 19 riders caught behind here, including um, a couple strong guys. Rowan Dennis is there, to be fair. Further back, we have another group. Jonathan Narvaez, a rider who I think can do well here in France, is out the back. And look... At the current peloton, it is pretty tiny. Okay, 15k to go. We've just seen Rudy Millard and Mike Woods attack up the roads. I think we do now need to try and react to that. In fairness, Van Bala is going to... Anyway, let's make sure our guys are trying to stay to the front here. Up the roads in the breakaway. Okay, those guys have now been caught. We'll uh, try and keep it a high tempo as Woods. Very aggressive today. Not really waiting for the finish, which is very difficult. Up the road though, we have four riders spread across two groups right here, trying to hold on for the stage when Chikone currently working on the front. So we suddenly have 5k to go. I think the breakaway have this stage. You can see they still have about 30 seconds. Woods is attacking again. I've put GVA on the front. We need a powerhouse on the front right now. Narsen not on a great day. Neither is GVA, but still 76 flat. Let's try and get us to the foot of this climb at the front with Godon. Here we'll try and put Peters on the front right now. Champusan is still here. Godon just trying to stay in position today as Woods is going to be caught. I believe Pino is trying an attack. I think Balkan Molima is as well. Nons Peters doing his best to follow him. This is going to be so close between the peloton and the breakaway. Let's just sprint with all of our guys. Nons Peters doing really well, but Rob Power is just going to hold on from the breakaway. I think it will be Fusang claiming second place here today. In a few bonus seconds, Quintana as well in third place. And is Gudon going to be dropped out of this front group? He may do. And if so, that is going to be quite disappointing, I think, for sure. As you see now, some of the riders that have been dropped again today. And sadly, that is going to be the case. We lose, I think, 18 seconds to these guys at the very front. So Gudon is going to lose the uh, the leader's jersey down to third place. Gagan Hart now in the lead. 
here in France. Champisan as well in the top 10, so we still have a few options going into that final stage, and it's still pretty close at the front. Here we go then for the final stage, and we are going to try and get a few riders in today's breakaway. Norse Peters and Clermont Champoussin are going to try and attack away, see if we can get both of those guys in today's breakaway. That would be fantastic if we're able to do that. So we were unable to get Champoussin in today's breakaway, but I have done my best to absolutely stack our guys in this group. Sadly, Narsen and O'Connor are struggling to get to the front, but we do have GVA and we do also have Norse Peters here right now. And surely they have to slow down at some point. Otherwise, uh, these guys won't make it. Situation then, as our riders currently descend towards the Col de Brau, we have seven riders in this group. O'Connor, Peters and GVA have managed to stay here up the road from the Peloton, which is pretty crucial for my plan today. Further up the road, we have Dan Martin, a few others as well who we're going to join up with. And the pace in the Peloton has already been really hard today. So this is going to be a big day. So the Peloton are really keen to catch this breakaway. I can tell for sure. And of course, we want to keep our guys up the road because it gives us a massive advantage. Hopefully Godon can try and maybe attack up to these guys later on. That would be a perfect situation. Can you believe that the man who's been out front all day, Dan Martin, did just fall at the top of this climb. Unbelievable, we've now overtaken him in the breakaway and 43 riders remain in the peloton. This is going to be a great, great finish to this race. So the only climb remaining right now is the Col de la Madone. We have 37 riders in the peloton. Up the road in the breakaway, still our three riders all together in this group. But at the front, we still have three riders slightly further um, ahead than us. And this is the time we need to try and make a difference if we're going to in the GC. So we have 11k to go. Norms Peters is doing work right now in the breakaway. Still three minutes to this group behind. We're going to try and push the tempo with Godon and try an early attack. Of course, we could be costing ourselves a potential stage win here. Um, they don't have a big lead up the road, but they do um, have some good energy there. Champoussin is almost done. And I think this is the moment where Dorian Godon is going to try and attack away up the road to see if he can do anything here in the GC. Let's drop back with someone, but Godon, as you see, still in this group frustratingly. Um, let's drop Norms Peters back, try and attack up to him right now. Can we get to Norms Peters' wheel? Let's try and just get in his wheel and pace really hard yet again with a few riders still up the road. Not quite sure how to play this. So Godon looks very tired. I think we're going to keep him in this group. I don't think he has much more to give, to be fair. But up the road in the breakaway, Ben O'Connor can definitely try and challenge for this stage. We're going to use his gel, use GVA for a little bit. We could try and get GVA over the top here but instead we're going to try and come to the front with Ben O'Connor and try and attack away if we can get past these guys in the breakaway. Let's see if we're able to do that. Ben O'Connor trying to force his way into a position where he can hopefully try and win this stage. We have 1.5k to go in the climb and Norns Peters is now getting dropped sadly from the peloton. That is a nightmare. I think he's going to lose his podium. Of course he's not the best climber on paper, so you can see why the likes of Full Sang and I expect Naira Man up here, Gegenhardt as well, are now dropping him. Let's try and get to the top at the front with O'Connor. Again, we're getting blocked all over in this race, but we do lead the guys into the descent. So I'm going to attempt to inform you what is going on right here. Peters is trying to get Dorian Godon back into the front group. Up the road, we have Cantana. Um, in a group with GVA, also Mollard and Godou. So Quintana is going to help GVA hopefully get back in to the guys at the very front. And this group is led by Teo Gegenhart. I think the only GC rider who's made his way into this group from what I can see. What a ride by him. Garrett Thomas now attacking up to him. In the third group on the road, we have Pino, Fulsang, Mollema and such. And Quintana is going to try and get GVA back into that group and maybe the front where he would be, I think, the favourite for the stage win. So Ben O'Connor is going to sit in the wheel of Gegenhart. I think we want GVA to really come back on. Let's try and attack onto this hill, see if we can try and bridge this gap on this climb. And no pacing is taking place. And watch GVA hopefully 
fly up to these guys. We'll sit on the wheel of Nairo Quintana. And this looks great. GVA back in the front group right now. Magnus Court, though, on the attack. Let's try and hunt him down. So look at this. 7k to go behind. Godon still trying to get back in with the help of Norns Peters. I don't think he's going to be able to do that. But we now go into the descent. GVA is still here. A great rise by him. Godon just attack for the rest of the stage if you can. We'll see where he ends up. But GVA is now the favourites coming into the final few kilometres. 4k to go. We're going to try and get him to the front right now uh, with Ben O'Connor on the front. Here we are. 2.5k to go. It's a pretty much downhill descent to the line. Let's try and lead out Greg Van Avmat. Try and go a little early with GVA. And do we have the stage? Magnus Court is coming. And Magnus Court does get us in the slipstream. Went too early there. GVA has to settle for second place. Sadly, would have loved our second stage win. Not to be, though, as good Don. Unlucky, he's going to lose about a minute and 20 seconds. Well, guys, that was a crazy but really, really enjoyable race. Really did enjoy that a lot. Hopefully, it's this fun in real life. Sadly, we didn't take our second stage win. I really bottled it, to be fair. I thought downhill, better to go early. Not the case. Magnus Court in our slipstream and just came past us. In the end, Godon lost 1 minute 20, which does mean he drops all the way to 8th place in GC. I mean, 72 Mountain, if you if you look at every other rider here, he's nowhere near that level apart from Magnus Kortz. What a ride by him to finish second, but Theo Gegenhardt wins the race. By the way, I think I showed it, Godon. How much nicer was the Young Riders jersey than the uh, kind of normal AG2R jersey this season? Looked really nice. Godon takes that competition. Dan Martin in the KOM and it was Gegenhardt in the points classification. But guys, if you enjoyed today, smash that like button. As always, really helps the channel out. Drop a sub on my channel as well if you're new. And I will see you guys in the next one.